Hi there, I'm Diane from wokit.co.uk and I'm going to show you how to make a very simple band ring, nothing fancy at all. Uh, now I started a new project uh, and I've set it up from a template which will make each of these grids one millimetre across because we're working on quite a small object being a, a ring. Uh, now to start off we'll um, make the inner edge of the ring, so we'll go to the circle on your toolbar. Now make sure you have grid snap um, highlighted in the top and take it just from that corner there. Click and drag. Now I'm going to set the diameter at 19. Done. That will give the inner edge to your ring. And we'll do the same thing for the outer edge. Right in the, the corner, drag and set 21 mils this time in the diameter. And that will give a ring, a very flat ring at the moment, uh, which will have um, a width of two mils across. Okay, at the moment it's a bit flat, we'd like to make it three dimensional. So if we go up to the solid toolbar and extrude uh, planar curve straight and select both the circles, click done, and um, if you click both sides and solid, it will make a solid surface, a solid tube, uh, and it will give a measurement on either side of the line what you uh, first put down. So I'm going to put a measurement of one mils, which will give a total of a two millimeter in depth ring. Uh, for the next thing I'm just going to round the corners so we need to do that using something called fillet so if we go down to solid fillet edge and click on that now a lot of times it will just default to one mils which when you're working on something this small is quite big and can throw up some strange effects so I'll just show you what it does if you Click on both the, on the whole solid, radius of one, click done. Okay, and make sure you've got rolling ball clicked in there, preview, trim and join. And click done again. And what you get is not a ring which is rounded, it's, it's two discs because it's taken it all the way around. It's too large a number for it. You might be fine if you're doing something a bit bigger. So I will just undo fillet edge and start again. So we go back to solid and again fillet edge. Now this time we're going to make the radius smaller so I'm going to make that 0.5. Select the whole solid on either side and click done and done again and you have a ring which is rounded on all the edges. Now you might want to just round the outside edges, uh, which you can do. You can just select what you want to select. You could have the inside at a 90 degree and the outside rounded. So we go undo fillet edge again, uh, go back to solid, fillet edge, and select edges to fillet. I'm going to select just that top one on there. Again at 0.5, click done, done, and what you have there is just that edge is selected, underneath is sharp, and the rest is sharp. So that's it for now, that's just a very simple ring, thank you for looking, bye bye.